Hello, my name is Thor and um, I would like to read a word for you from uh, a watchman called Byron Searle and the headline is The King and I Received June 25th, 2020 And uh, there is a verse from Jeremiah 9, 23 to 24 And I read that first Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth that me, that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness judgment and righteousness in the earth for in these things i delight said the lord and here's the message my son the children of america are as the children of israel they cried give us a king so we can be great like the nations I gave you a king after your own hearts. Your hearts are full of pride, full of arrogance, full of blasphemy. You see division in your land and wonder why, but I say your hearts are divided. The king of America is performing just as you want him to. He is more prideful than Nebuchadnezzar. He is more arrogant than Zedekiah. He loves war just as Saul did. And he has no place in his heart for me. My son, this king speaks of great promise to deceive my people. And they believe his lies over my word. When this king walks into a room, the people bow down to him in their hearts. Yet this king bows to the master deceiver and blinds so they do not see. My son, tell the women and daughters to learn how to lament and veil, for this war king will take your husbands and sons and use them for his glory. My word says, great deception will abound in the last days. One will come who will lull the world asleep with his pleasing words and even lead my children to the fire. Many think they know who this one will be, but do not. They cannot even see the evil before them. My son, great shaking is coming soon. Nay, it is here. The land will shake and convulse as never before. I have allowed my chosen ones to feel the shaking in their spirits. And here's a note from Byron Searle. The Lord has allowed me, Byron Searle, on many occasions to both see and experience this shaking. He has given me visions of the whole earth shaking violently like a ball of jello. Many times during prayer and much more frequently later, when the Lord speaks to me about the shaking, He allows me to actually feel the shaking like I am experiencing an earthquake. And also would like to add a personal note. I have had different kind of visions uh, of earthquakes and uh, natural disasters like volcanoes, and plagues and I will um, post a link to these visions in the description box. 
The message continues. Repent now before the shaking begins. The king and I will meet very soon and he will bow down to the true king of kings. Tell my children to continue to pray for the king that was selected. He will realize he has worshipped strange gods and followed the advice of those who practice witchcraft. My son, the summer of chaos will continue and the war king will have his war. Do not be deceived. It is all but to show, to puff up his pride. Repent, O chosen king, for your sins have come up to a holy God. Repent and turn from your evil ways. My children, repent now. Turn from your worship of a false god and follow me. I have warned you, my children, this king is not who he appears to be. His heart is not for me, but for himself. Repent and follow him not, for he will lead you down a path of destruction and he will love it. Repent, my children, give your hearts to me and I will fill you with love, not division. Repent, come home, my children, your father is waiting. Get ready for the great, great shake, both in the spirit and the flesh. I love you, my children. Amen. Given by Jesus Christ, King of kings and Lord of lords.